In the other video, we saw how we can uh, start logging in a script. Let's now see how we can log in, an, in a module. So we have this module called My Easy App, which is just a regular object-oriented module. We load the log for Perl. We have the constructor new, which is just creates an object and returns it. And then there we, we have a log a run function that will uh, supposed to have some logging in it. So we call the logger object and call the logging methods. The script that will use this module is just using the loads the module, calls the constructor and calls, calls the run method. Now if you run this log PL script, we'll see that, that it gets, gives some kind of warning because the logger wasn't initialized. Now obviously people who are using the module don't necessarily need to know about any logging there, so they don't need to, they shouldn't be need to do anything in order to have this running. So the module should have some initialization. But on that hand, we don't want to initialize in the module normally because it's the job of the, the script. So what we do is that in the constructor, we're going to initialize the logger on condition that it hasn't been yet initialized. So we won't accidentally override the initialization done by the, the script. So we ch use this initialized method that will return whether the module has been ever initialized. And if it returns false, it hasn't been initialized, then we call the, the thing that we have already used, the easy net uh, method, and set the log level to be off. That means that basically if a, someone writes a script not knowing about uh, the logging infrastructure in this module, it doesn't really matter because it will it will turn the all the logging will be turned off. For the, this, we of course need the uh, level module as well. Now, if you run the script now, it doesn't say anything. It, it doesn't log anything, which is exactly what we are expecting as a regular user. Now what happens when the user learns about the logging uh, capabilities of the module and wants to turn on logging? So that user in the script now will have to add the uh, log for per not log for three. So it has to uh, add the uh, load the uh, regular, uh, these two uh, modules, the log for per module and the level module. So he will be able to set uh, the level. And then, uh, well, let's just copy paste uh, the, 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 this line. We'll have to initialize the, the, the logger. We're still using the easy init uh, initializer. We'll see a more complex one later on. But instead of turning it off, we set it to level worn or whatever level the, the user wants to do it. Now, if we run the, the script, it will print out the, the fatal level le warning because the debug level is under uh, is lower than the warn level. So we're only logging one thing. Now if you can see, in this code we created the logger object, but if we have several methods, then for every method where we want to log, we also have to call the get logger, create the logger object. It's a lot of work. Uh, instead of that, what we can do a couple of things. One of them is to import the get logger function instead of calling the get logger method. This already reduces the the typing we have to do every in every method. We just call the get logger function, it will return the logger object, and it, the same logging will work as it worked earlier. And another way to do that is that the, we, it, we don't even assign the variable, uh, the logger object to a variable. We just call get logger, and immediately on that, what it returned, we call the fatal or debug method. This will work the same way.